Good morning, Cody. We're going to do another one of these binomial expansion uh, problems using Pascal's triangle. This was on the polynomials quiz one, and it's a little bit challenging because it has a fraction in it. Uh, I've already filled out this Pascal's triangle um, to get to the, we're, up, we're to the fifth power, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth power. That's this row. Um, so here we go. Let's just do it. Here's the problem p plus 1 over p to the fifth. And again, I like to take up a lot of real estate so that I've got plenty of room to work. So I'm going to spread this way out. One's on the ends, a couple of tens in the middle. And that's a 5 and a 5. So that should be enough room right there. So I'll have a Let's try to get this someplace where my camera can focus. Okay, so p to the zero. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, p to the. <laughs> let's not go backwards on this. p to the fifth. p to the fourth. p to the third. p to the second. p to the first and p to the zero. And then we take the second term. And here's where we start with the zeros. One over p to the zero, one over p to the first, one over p squared, one over p to the third, one over p to the fourth, and one over p to the fifth, plus signs between all. All right, let's start simplifying these terms. This first term is going to wind up being p to the fifth. Don't need that one. And this also is a one, so it's simply p to the fifth. This last term is also really easy to simplify. We'll just get it simplified right now. It's just going to be, this is a one, so it's going to be one over p to the fifth. All right, let's work on these middle, middle terms. We have a 5, p to the 4th, and this is just going to be 1 over p, because it's to the 1st. So I'm going to just move this right under that term. All right, this is 10 p to the 3rd times 1 over p squared, so I'm going to do the same thing. Put my p squared under there. And then we have another 10. P, this time squared, 1 over P to the third. So I'm going to put the P to the third. That's a 0, by the way, not a 6. And then we have a 5P. And this is a 1 over P to the fourth. So just move my P to the fourth under there. And then we already, <laughs> it's way over there. I think I'll rewrite it here. OK, that's my first simplification. Um, now we just need to resolve these, simplify, simplify those. So we'll have a p to the fifth again. This, if you remember your eighth grade math, is going to be 5p to the 4 minus 1. Right? So that's p to the third, which is a little disruptive to our pattern, 4 minus 1, p to the third, because we've gone from p to the fifth to p to the third, but that's okay. And then we have 10, p to the 3 minus 2, so that's just going to be p to the 1, plus 10, p to the 2 minus 3, which is going to give us 10, p to the negative 1, right? So let's just put that negative 1 right down here, make it a positive. And then we got 5 to the p to the 1 minus 4. So we have a 5, p to the 1 minus 4 is going to be p to the negative 3. So we'll just say p to the 3 plus our final term, which is 1 over p to the 5th. So I suppose we do still have a pattern because we're going, we're, our exponent is changing by two places, 5, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. So we have a pattern. Anyway, this is as far as we can go.